Todd, a huge match tomorrow. How, how are the boys feeling about it? I think pretty good. Uh, we, the boys had a good week of training. Um, a lot sharper. Guys are looking better. And uh, they know that Bra we, we, we started off a pretty good rivalry with Brayhead last year. And uh, we're looking to continue it. Always exciting games. And uh, hopefully tomorrow's much the same. How good is the rivalry between the Five Flyers and Brayhead for, for Scottish hockey and for both clubs? I think it's great for Scottish hockey. It shows... Uh, you know, like we can we can fill this building if Dundee come over here, Brayhead come over here. I think it's great to certainly have some strength uh, north of the border. Um, you know, but uh, but Brayhead, they're an awful good team. I think it's important that we come out and uh, and don't take anything for granted. I know Ryan uh, has them playing really well. They've got off to a great start, and uh, us not exactly the start we wanted to, but we still have faith in this club. Well, we have a lot of faith in this club, and. Uh, you know, when, when, when all these guys start firing on all cylinders, um, it'll be a pretty special thing. So uh, hopefully it happens this weekend. And how important for confidence was that, that win last Saturday here in Kirkcaldy? I think it was big. Uh, you know, uh, th there's always going to be a lot of pressure this year. Um, and w we recognize that. Um, and, and, and sometimes when we put too, pre too much pressure on ourselves as a club, uh, we don't always get the best performance out of ourselves. We have to relax into it. Uh, obviously, you still work hard, but uh, enjoy ourselves out there, you know. And I think that uh, we get that crowd into the game early. Uh, the game becomes easier. Uh, the, the guys look uh, much sharper out there, a lot better, and uh, just all around uh, a, a, a lot more fun for the guys to be involved in the game. So we're looking to continue our home run there. Um, you know, even the performance against the Sheffield, they're losing in a shootout. Anything can happen in a shootout. Uh, so. Two good solid at home performances. I'll uh, be looking for for the third this week. A yeah, challenge cup obviously a realistic trophy the club the club could win this season. Um, is that is that what you think? I think we have to be uh, you know keep our heads firmly on our shoulders. I think we have to look to qualify first. Um, then you get into those qualified stages. It gets very difficult with the the crossover. Um, but uh, we've done well in uh, you know home and away series when it matters and. Uh, you know, we do that, we get ourselves into a quarters situation, uh, that would be fantastic for the club and uh, and if we get ourselves in a bit of a roll then I guess anything can happen. What's, what's the update on and how, and how are Matt Reber, uh, Kyle Horn and uh, Chris Wands doing? Yeah, well they won't be icing this weekend unfortunately, you know, it's a, it's a big loss for us, it puts us under a little bit of strain up front and the back, you know, um, but uh, we have to be cautious with these guys. We can't push them back into the game. We'll see what the doctors say. And then as soon as the doctors give them the all clear, um, we'll build these guys slowly up to, to getting back into full fitness. But uh, it's out of our hands and something that we're just going to have to be patient with. But uh, we'll take it as it comes. Uh, a player that misses, misses the game for Brayhead is Chris Frank uh, due to the, the Department of Player Safety. How do you feel that that department's worked out this season so far? Um, it's good. I mean, it's, it's all in the name. Um, you know, I think last year uh, it could have been possibly petty. Everything was just getting sent in as, a, I guess, you know, um, you know, as a, an agenda to get guys um, suspended for key games and stuff like this. Maybe not always worried about whether a player was hurt or not. It was about getting the guy out of the game. So, so far, guys have been suspended without teams appealing. Uh, they they look at instances on the ice, and uh, if it's all about player safety, I think that's the main thing. Um, you know, it helps when, when sometimes when teams come in and they're, they're, they're short imports or, or whatever, but I mean, at the end of the day, you know, I guess, you know, if you look at it when you're a little older, um, you don't want anybody getting hurt out there. You want them to play hard, you want them to play tough, um, but you, you don't need guys getting, um, getting hurt out there for no reason. So um, hopefully they keep up the good work and, uh, and we'll just see. I think consistency is the, 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 the big word that everybody's batting around right now and hopefully they keep it up. The player that will be playing for Brayhead uh, this weekend is Derek Real. You looking forward to seeing Derek back in the building? Yeah, Derek was always kind of... Uh, I like Derek. He's, he's, he's a good hockey player and he's a competitive wee bugger. So, um, you know, he's going to come here and he's going to be trying his hardest. Um, but uh, we've said to our guys numerous times, you can't focus on one player. Uh, we we want to make sure that we focus these guys on uh, as a unit. Um, and, and sometimes if you take your eye off the prize and, 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 uh, and worry about uh, individuals too much, uh, uh, you know, other individuals step up and hurt you. So we'll be taking him as a squad. Um, might be nice to see him after the game, but before the game, there he's on a different team and uh, we're looking to steal two, well, take two points from him. What sort of reception do you think he's going to get from the fans here? Oh, I mean, 
I, I think uh, fans in Kirkcaldy have always appreciated of, of, of players that have been uh, good ambassadors for the club. I'm sure they'll give them a, a warm Kirkcaldy reception, which usually results in it being mixed. But uh, oh gosh, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure he's he's got uh, big enough shoulders to take whatever stick he gets. And a player that's been getting uh, obviously a good reception this season so far is uh, Tommy Muir stepping up for his teammates in the last couple of weeks, last two home games. What have you made of him so far? Yeah, Tommy kind of picked up where he where he left off. You know what you get with Tommy. Um, the guy is, over the years has uh, taken a lot of stick, and he's he's doggedly worked his way into the starting lineup, and uh, not only um, just earned a spot in the team, but he's he's become a key player for us. Um, I think he's he's matured and that he knows his game. It's solid, steady defense, nothing too fancy, and uh, you know that little bit of. Uh, um, tough edge that he has um, you know he's a smaller guy but uh, that doesn't bother him he takes on all comers and uh, it's important for teams uh, our teammates to have have know that a guy will always be in your corner and stick up for you and uh, we certainly get that out of Tommy. It's important for someone else to step up as well to, to maybe assist Martin Nickerson and what he does on the ice. Yeah Matt um, it's a funny old situation. People seem to be staying away from Matt. I don't blame him. I mean, when you stand beside him, he's, uh, he's an incredibly big man and he looks, uh, looks intimidating with the beard and everything like that. But, uh, I mean, as a coach, I prefer to have Matt on the ice. And we get an awful lot out of Matt on the ice. Um, but when he, when he has to step in and take care of a situation, I think he's really figured out the UK game. Uh, I think that, uh, you, you know, the referees certainly aren't tar targeting just for stepping in and splitting things up or... Or, or, or telling guys that it's unacceptable what they're doing out on the ice and, and they'll have to deal with him. So, so the pair of them are doing a great job and uh, you know it gives our guys maybe a little bit more space, maybe just a little bit of respect some of the guys deserve, but uh, no, I, you know, I'm quite pleased with those guys. Just, just finally, go, going, finally going into tomorrow against Brayhead, how important will the crowd be and how good have the crowds been so far this season? Crowds have been great, uh, the numbers uh, looks busy in the building, um, it's loud. I know that the, the building could go off a little quiet uh, if we don't get off to a start or if another team puts a puck in the net um, early. Um, but I, th I think that's always kind of been the case in this building, you know. Um, expectations always high. But I like this crowd. Um, and, and, and when they're into the game, you know, it's a long time since I've, I've put on the uniform and got on the ice. But, uh, you know, standing on the bench, you, you feel the crowd, you feel the expectation, you feel... Uh, you know it, the buzz going around and, and it certainly helps our guys and it makes it difficult for teams to come back so I, I always like when I walk out and I see a busy crowd and I uh, by all accounts it looks like it's going to be busy this weekend which is great. Cheers Todd, thank you. I have to say something else too. Yeah. Just one last thing yeah. and uh, you know I believe you're leaving so uh, it's been nice working with you Ross and uh, I know all the guys have liked working with you over the years. I think you've done a great job for the club and uh, best of luck in your new job. Thanks Todd, appreciate it. Thank you.